All right, let's say I am done with my painting. Okay, and this one was a little bit dry. I'm just using a student example. What you're going to do is you're going to take it, preferably with two hands, but I'm also holding a phone right now, and you're going to take it and walk it over to the drying rack, which is located right here. So when you're putting it on the drying rack, it's a smaller piece of paper. This one happens to be like a half sheet. Then you're going to want to make sure it's either supported with newspaper or that you can get it on the drying rack where it is supported on the drying rack. So if yours happens to be, um, again, really like, like you're just cleaning up at the end of class and you don't quite have enough time to let it dry flat, please make sure there's a piece of newspaper supporting it so it doesn't drip on somebody else's artwork. So you wanna try to load it, especially when I have multiple classes working on assignment, that you're loading it and filling one after the other Okay, right next to each other, each row, so that we can fill it appropriately and people aren't having to look for spots. And if I ask you, make sure that your name before you start painting is always on the back, your name and class period. All right, so when you are cleaning up, you're going to make sure that your brush is clean. And so the easiest thing to do is at your table, make sure that all of the paint is out and you can do this in a clean bucket first okay then bring everything over to the sink and I really want you to make sure that you turn the water on and you're going to squeeze the bristles and make sure that there's no paint coming out okay none no paint it should be it's not focusing no paint coming out of the brush and you know it's clean and then it goes, hairs up in the cup, okay, and ready for the next person. They should not get left right here in this drying rack, the dish rack, okay? So don't leave brushes in there. And everybody is responsible for their own brush. If there are brushes or containers left in the sink at the end of class, there are consequences for that class that has that happen. So take responsibility and follow procedures. So if my bucket, I'm done with the water, you're gonna pour that out. Please make sure that this drying rack is, the lip is over the sink. Otherwise, when you put your bucket in it upside down to drain all the water, if this is not falling over the edge, it's gonna end up all over the counter and possibly the floor. So please make sure you do this properly that you put your brush pairs up in the cup and then the paint palettes so say I did some mixing on the tray which is fine but what I don't want to happen is that these are kind of dry but if this was all still moist and then you just closed it what's going to happen right all this colored paint that's mixed is going to dirty up all these colors and nobody wants that so when you are done using your mixing, you can do one of two things. If we are doing a lot of mixing in a lot of my classes, I might just have you have leave them in one of these gray um, cafeteria trays and on the counter like that. And what we'll do is we'll cross stack. Sorry, make it a little sick. We'll cross stack them so that they can slowly air dry and we'll put more here or whatever. If they're completely clean, then what you need to do is clean, dry them, and some of these colors may still be wet. So you need to make sure you close it and you very carefully, laterally or horizontally, keep it horizontal, and put it in gently into the cabinet. If you just throw it in there, or you take this, this is dry, but if you just throw it in there, then there's gonna be paint all over the cabinet and all in the colors. So make sure you're not doing that. So again, we can leave it on the counter, cross stack my trays and somebody else can use these beautifully mixed colors another time. Otherwise, you are gonna be wasting paint. What I don't wanna see is that you take one of these mixed colors and you run them under running water. What that does is literally put paint down the drain. So think of it as money down the drain. 
Okay, we only have so many refills for these colors this year. So once they're gone, then we're done painting. Okay. All right, so I think I've covered everything for watercolor. I tried to keep it short and sweet, but really painting is a huge job for a lot of people. And if everybody's doing their part, then it's pretty easy to do. So make sure you're following procedures because if you're not, I'm gonna make your class watch this video every single class time until you get it right. All right, happy painting.